it, we're always looking at this time of year, right? And it's hot. We will we'll drink some beer. We we'll drink one beer. Yeah, we'll drink two. one beer. When we, <laughs> yep, in the summer. Yeah. But then we always go back to wine. No doubt. So looking for wines that are low in alcohol, that taste great, that pair well with light food. Yeah. Is, is sometimes challenging. It can get tough. It, Especially, it, and then trying to find a new wine that does. You, that's you right. may have your two go-tos. Yeah. But if you want to expand your range, yep. it becomes a bit challenging. But we may have found something in Portugal. We may have just done that. All right, let's get yeah, into let's it. Yeah, let's do it. What is up, Watch Fam? Happy Friday and welcome to Liquor Run. I am Christian from Theo and Harris, and you are Roly from Theo and Harris. For those of you who don't know, Monday through Thursday here at Theo and Harris, we talk about watches uh, and on the weekends too. But on Friday, we also wear our watches, but we talk a little about wine and value in wine. We do. So what are, Friday is always a, a wine value day. Yep. So what are we drinking today? Today we're gonna we're gonna talk about a Vinho Verde from Portugal. Mm -hmm. Northern Northern Portugal. Very nice bottle. Very nice bottle. Very yeah. nice. Uh, very nice uh, label. I love label. It. It's very cool. And uh, supposedly some pretty good stuff. Cool. How much was this wine? This wine was eleven dollars. Very cool. All right. So before we get into the wine, quick wristwatch check. What are you wearing? I'm wearing my GMT. Beautiful. Love it. And I'm also wearing a, another iconic Rolex. I'm wearing a Datejust. Very nice. Uh, with a cool presidential bracelet and a Buckley dial that's like totally faded out. Uh, two two pretty cool Rolexes I think on the on the dock today. So that's it. Let's get into uh, let's get into the wine. All right. A while back we did Albariño. Mm -hmm. Okay. We did a we did an episode where we talked about the the Spanish version of this wine. So the Spaniards vinify this grape uh, a little bit different than the Portuguese. The Portuguese keep some effervescence. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll see it uh, as soon as we pour it. And um, it should be a really nice glass of wine, however. Cool. Let's give it a yeah. shot. So let me pour you. But it, we should really get real racy uh, acidity, like lime cutting through. Very pale, mm -hmm. uh, yellow. It is, for sure. Okay. Very nice. So well, let's give it a sniff. Yeah. Yeah, it's got real pronounced citric notes, um, citrus peel. Cool. Uh, pineapple, once again, some of these wines have these tropical notes. But keep in mind, too, that this wine, these grapes grow right along the Atlantic, okay? And um, uh, they're getting that, that Atlantic breeze and, and also the salinity from the Atlantic Ocean crashing up against this, the, you know, this land. So that should reflect in the wine. Cool. So let's give it a shot. Cheers. Give it a shot. Wow, this is really good. That's delicious. Yeah. Wow. Delicious. This is a really nice bottle. What do you say? I mean, there's like lemon, like yep. fresh lemon. Yep. There's a lot of lemon, but not in the same way that the Greek wine that we had two weeks ago. What right. was that? Yeah, yeah. That was uh, that was from Santorini. Delicious, but that had a much more aggressive. It was much more aggressive than mm -hmm. lemon. This is forward, but it's not. It doesn't. It's, mm -hmm. it's not the only thing you taste. I mean, there's no. a lot going on here. No. Uh, actually, it doesn't have as much uh, effervescence as I no. as, as what I had thought. Uh, so there, there's there's let's put this into context. There's a lot of vino verde that's made in Portugal that really is garbage. There are two grapes here that are that are that are used for this for this wine. Alvarinho is definitely one, but there's also another one. I don't know if it's Lureiro or or whatever whatever the other grape is. The name eludes me right now. But what's important is that. That other grape will grow like wildfire. It grows everywhere, including up up trellises, tree uh, 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 trees, phone phone towers, even on the side of the roads. Everywhere. So the Portuguese really, uh, when these mass brands, will just take all those grapes that are that are nondescript, and they'll just make a lot of junk wine. Right. This is definitely not happening here. Yep. So it, it's clear to me that they've taken a very methodical approach. They've probably cut back these vines a lot to give the to, to allow for expression of these grapes. Yeah. So uh, um, this is a very very nice wine. I love. I it. mean, this is a this is this screams seafood. Yeah. There, there's there's nothing. That's where I was. That's where I was Boom. going next. What else? What do we eat with this? I'm, I'm eating fish. I mean, you know, go over go over to Raw Bar over here at 100 Steps mm -hmm. or something like that. You know, go over have a Raw Bar, have some oysters, some clams. You know, crack them open. Yeah. You know, that would be that would be absolutely delicious in this wine. There's, yeah. You know, don't need to go too far with that. No, you don't. You know, stick crab stick cake. Right there. You know, this wine is made right 
along the shores of the of the Atlantic Ocean. Yep. It matches beautifully with oysters, with shrimp, awesome. with clams, uh, lobster. Yeah. Here we here we were thinking, you know, we're recording this on a Sunday night that oh, you know, I'm probably not gonna be able to finish this wine. I'm gonna sit out here tonight and probably just it's <laughs> a relax great idea. this wine. Okay, so tell me a little bit more about this wine. So obviously we talked about the region, we talked about the grapes, but let's talk also about the the, uh, the level of alcohol. The reason why this is so pleasant and why it's a wonderful, wonderful wine to have, especially at this time of year, yep. is the fact that it's a low in alcohol. It's 11.5% alcohol. Not overwhelming at all. Not overwhelming at all. Yep. You can drink a lot of this wine. Yeah, without getting bombed. Without getting bombed. Yeah. That's right. Uh, <laughs> Which is especially important, important in the summer when you're using this wine to cool down and to relax. It's, it's very easy to get cooked in the summertime yeah. when you're in the sun. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, yeah, I totally. Yeah, with a you. high alcohol wine, all of a sudden your head is spinning. Mm -hmm. But with this, this is perfect for this type of weather. Yep, um, it's great. Again, like I said to you, uh, for fish, beautiful shellfish, seafood. This is a phenomenal wine. Love for it. That. Love it. Love lovely, it. Lovely, lovely. Cool. So for you guys who like who like Sauvignon Blanc, uh, you drink Sancerre or, or you know the New, New Zealand Australian uh, Sauvignon Blancs. This is a terrific alternative okay. to that. It doesn't have the raciness that 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 funky smell. Uh, that that uh, Sauvignon Blanc has, but it has it has that acidic structure, mm -hmm. which is very very pleasant to me. This one happens to have some nice some nice residual sugar too. It gotcha. makes it very 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 easy going to, to just to gulp. Awesome. Yep. Cheers. Cheers. And how much was it again? This was ten bucks. Uh, <laughs> so the, the name of the producer is Maria Papoila. Beautiful. Okay. So and the so uh, um, CMP wine. CMP wine is the importer. Uh, but but uh, really really delicious. I'm so happy uh, I got this bottle. Yeah, the, the 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 brand the branding's on point. The wine's delicious. Yeah, yeah. Highly recommend this at ten bucks especially for any summer backyarding you're going to be doing with friends or family. Uh, it's 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 delicious enough. It's it's affordable enough to really buy in mass. Uh, big props to you, Daddy. For All right, this one cool. Out. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you are new here to the Theo and Harris channel, uh, and if you enjoyed this video, please do subscribe. Leave your comments below, uh, and we'll see you on Monday. Adios. Ciao.